party's immigration spokesman. Just on the, this point, yeah. this is an attempt by you to prove you're a serious party with serious policy. Yeah. But right at the centre, you can't get away that the key issue for UKIP absolutely will be immigration and EU withdrawal. So what's the point in the other stuff, really? Well, the point of the other stuff is actually to show that we're actually thinking about what matters to people in this country beyond immigration, actually also in the EU. I mean, people are concerned about the way that the healthcare is being run in this country, and that's why we're looking up to three billion per year over the course of it to put in, as Suzanne said, 20,000 new nurses and 8,000 uh, new doctors in terms of that. So I think that's key. We also got to look at education. We've got to re re revitalize our students and give them the opportunity to be free of debt, and we're trying in certain areas. Housing, young people here are desperate for homes, and we know that we can look at the policies that we can put over a million new homes over the course of the Parliament and slightly beyond. But the way to do that is unlike the other political parties, is actually to cost it carefully, and we've done so in the CEBR report, which is unprecedented for all the other political parties. You've heard them talking about making cuts in welfare and the Labour Party and the Conservative, but they've not shown you the numbers, they've not shown you the figures. Today, we've done exactly that. Do you make big play of the fact that this is a costed manifesto and, as you yes. say, there's the Centre for Economic and Business Research document that goes alongside it. There's a lots of giveaways in this, but what you don't specify are any spending cuts that you would support. You just say you stick to the Tory plan and hold them to account for it. So what do you support in terms of specific spending cuts? Well, we haven't said that we'll actually look at the, the spending cuts for them because we don't know exactly what cuts but the Conservative that, Party... But you said MPs what, would hold them to their current plans. So yeah. what would you... Would what support? they've already announced in terms of the government, in terms of the changes that they're making to welfare, in terms of uh, other parts of their policies that are in existence that we know of now, we will hold them to account. What we don't know about the other political parties, and it's the Labour Party included as well, is they keep mentioning they want to make cuts in welfare. We will not support those if we don't know exactly what they are. And what we have suggested to the British public today, absolutely clearly, is that there are ways of making savings in this country without doing those cuts. Let's get rid of HS2 and save up to four billion. Let's get rid of the foreign aid and have a more targeted aid in, the, in healthcare and ma malaria and water treatment. Let's make sure that we pull out of the European Union and save money. Let's get rid of the departments that have actually uh, caused, costing a lot of money and fuse them together to make savings. And the Barnett formula too. All of these are sensible policies to create more money, up to 32 billion over the course of the Parliament, which we can use for our own people. Just briefly on immigration, yes. only two weeks ago your deputy chairwoman who wrote this manifesto said there would be no cap or target on immigration included in it. Yes. Two weeks later, there is a cap of 50,000. There's just utter no. confusion over this. No, this is why I'm saying to you, I'm almost having to educate the journalists and the media as well. There's a very big difference between when we talk about a net on immigration as a whole, which She said there was no cap or target full stop on immigration two weeks ago. But that's the point. You're misunderstanding. The point is immigration includes the five categories of all those coming in, in terms of asylum, family, students and work, and those who are leaving, which we have no control. We're saying there's no cap on that sort of immigration because we can't work it. Where we are saying there is a cap is in one specific area, which is the 50,000 related to the highly skilled workers, which is one portion of the work category, because that's something that you can control through an Australian points-based system where we bring in the best and the talented that we need and have a zero immigration policy for those on low skill for a period of five years. Stephen Morse, thanks very much indeed. So you heard there just a flavour of some of the policies